Okay guys, so about a year ago, I made this video here on how to delete watch history in VLC Media Player. It was a VLC tut tutorial. And uh, there was a thing where uh, your watch history just stayed in here, whether that was MP3s, music, videos, whatever, uh, whatever media that you played stayed in here. I did this video on how to show you how to clear this out. Well, it's come to my attention. I've gotten a couple um, comments here lately. Um, they're saying it doesn't work. You can right click VLC on your taskbar and see everything. So out of curiosity, I opened up VLC, played a few music files, and I did what they said. I right clicked here, um, but I was not seeing it. And then I got that second comment saying the same thing, basically reiterating what the first guy had said. So it made me curious, so I looked into it a little bit. Um, so I have since been messing with this and have um, made the change uh, back in my system. And I'll show you this here in just a second, but I have figured it out. So I have VLC open. Um, I've got it stopped because I don't want a copyright strike, but I've got a few music files loaded. And uh, after I made this change in my system, sure enough, I right click down here and I see exactly what they're talking about. So while you won't see it in the recents in VLC, you can still see it right here by right clicking the VLC icon and see your recents there. So I figured this out guys. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, we'll minimize this and we'll go ahead and right click on your desktop. Now this is Windows 11. I'm sure this works with Windows 10. It's probably just a little bit of a different place to find it. Um, so if you right click your desktop, go to personalize, and then you're on the personalization tab, what you'll do is you'll come down here, you'll scroll to start. And then as you scroll down, you see right here, show recommended files and start, recent files in File Explorer, and items in jump lists. So this is on, and this is on by default until you turn it off. So again, if I right click here, you see those that file history. If I go ahead and shut this off, now when I right click down here, that file history goes away. So that is how to fix that, guys. So go ahead and use the first video to show how to turn it off in VLC, uh, but this is basically an extra step. And I'll go ahead and link the original video in this video, uh, just in case you never saw that or are looking for that uh, way to do that. But that is how you do it, guys. Just personalization start and then turn this off for um, recommendation shortcuts, etc., etc. No, I'm sorry, this. Files and start recent files. It's this one here. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, if this was helpful, uh, let me know in the comments or by giving me a like and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.